Question 9. So we've got five fractions. One of these fractions is not equivalent to 1 over 4. So write down this fraction. Well, this one, 2 over 8, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I can see that straight away. That's a quarter. I'm just going to go through very systematically. In other words, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 40 divided by 10, yeah, I can see that's a quarter. How many times does 12 go into 48? 12, 24, 36, 48. Yes, that works. Oh dear, this isn't going to work. 5 doesn't go into 24 four times. I can see this one works. 20, 40, 60, 80, that works. So it's this one. So write down the fraction that's not a quarter. 5 over 24. Part B. Work out 2 sevenths plus 1 fourteenth. Now I need to make sure that the denominators are the same. So 2 sevenths is the same as 4 fourteenths. Add 1 fourteenth equals 5 fourteenths. And part C, work out four fifths divided by three tenths. Now, you really need to know kind of how to, how to divide fractions, but let me show you. Right? Hopefully, you've looked at this before, but if not, it's something that you can get yourself to be really good at. What you do when you're dividing by a fraction is actually turn it into a multiply, and we multiply by sort of the the opposite thing. I just turn it around. And then it's exactly the same, right? These two questions are the same. So, forty. Uh, sorry, four times ten is forty, and five times three is is fifteen. Now the question does say leave it in its simplest form. So I can see that five goes into both of these numbers. So five goes into forty eight times, and it goes into fifteen three times. Now most mathematicians would actually be quite happy about leaving your answer as 8 over 3. Now it says in its simplest form, yes I think that's fine, but if you wanted it as a mixed fraction, that is the same as, that's like 8 thirds. So 8 thirds is two whole ones and two left over. So you, you might want to write it like that, but to be honest, I prefer that.